Hello and welcome back to Sumatra, Indonesia from Pulau Ware. If you saw my previous video, you will know that I arrived here by ferry from Banda Acha and I have now moved to another resort on the other side of the island with this incredible view. This is my room, Casa Nemo Beach Resort and Spa. The bathroom is just here. And this is the amazing view and bed that I have. Another hammock and another great way to look at the clear blue water. They also have rooms at the very bottom by the beach, which I'll show later. There's a restaurant higher up here. I love being surrounded by all this beautiful greenery. The link for Casa Nemo is in the video description if you're interested. We are near Sabang, the main town on the island. It's just three kilometers away to the center. So leaving my room and heading out this evening, the resort is stretched all across the side of the cliff here by the sea. I will show you the beach and the bottom tomorrow. But right now I'm hungry and I'm in search of some local food and what better place to try some local food than in the main town of the island. Tomorrow I will show more of the beaches and the natural beauty of the island. But this little section here, I think, let's check out what the town's like. This is all part of Casa Nemo. Different types of rooms available. Okay, so I've just been dropped off in the town here, somewhere near the center. <laughs> Coffee places and plenty of seats by this large eating food court, I guess you could call it. It will get much busier once it turns to dark, I'm sure. So this is Sabang the largest town on the island, way more lively than anywhere else I've seen here. This must be the main harbour port of the main town. Obviously the main ferry port is Balohan, if I got the pronunciation right, which is on the south coast. But in terms of getting things to the main town, then this is it. The sun just setting in the west over there. Let's take a short stroll around the town before I grab some food. I'm in the mood for satay. Octopus satay is a speciality here. I think I need to try that. Welcome to the city of Sabang. I can't make a video about the island without showing you the main town, as I said, which is located right here. This is the harbour. And I was staying in the previous video on the south coast here. And my current resort, Casa Nemo, is around here. I love the laid-back feeling of the main town. 
town here. The architecture is kind of colorful and nice and pleasant to look at. I wonder if any of it dates back to the Dutch period. Tumak I say. Okay, so I've sat down and I've found a place called Sate Gorita Ajo, or Ajo, which is a local place quite well known. And I have the Gorita, which is octopus, and I am chicken. You can see on the wall there, Gorita is the speciality dish of Sabang. If you saw my video from Banda Acha, you'll know that I tried satay. I had it with padang sauce. This one is the nutty sweet uh, dipping. The chicken is so tender. Okay, so slight change of location. I'm now sitting outside on the street because it is prayer time right now and they wanted to pray inside. So I just wanted to get out the way when they closed the shop. So here we have the famous octopus. Let's give it a try. It's quite tough. It has that nice charred flavor. Trying the rice cubes with the satay sauce. Mm. I'm gonna go ahead and say, this is the best satay I've ever tasted. It is incredible. It's so rich, mm. flavorsome, but not too sweet either. and I can feel the bristly nuts in it as well. The chicken is heavenly. I cannot believe how tender it is. It's like butter. Okay, so that satay was definitely the best I've ever tried in my life. Be sure to check it out if you're here on the island and near Sabang town. I think this is as good as it gets <laughs> for the town. It's nice to walk around, grab a coffee, have something to eat. This video is probably going to be quite long as I have a full day of exploring tomorrow. So I will leave it here from the town and I will see you in the morning. Hello, good morning and welcome back to Ware Island from Casa Nemo Resort. It rained a lot last night so it looks quite damp and cloudy this morning perhaps we'll get another spectacular sunset as in the previous video later because it is cloudy let's see i'm going to go to the tuk-tuk which is now waiting for me i'm going to be going to a few spots on the island today with my tuk-tuk driver bang bang <laughs> who took me into the town last night for the satay I'm paying him 400,000 rupiah to take me around for the day. You can of course go on a bike, but I think for me filming, it's a bit easier to have a tuk-tuk so I can show you some of the scenery as we go around. Okay, so after a little bit of a drive in the tuk-tuk, soaking in the island scenery, I am here a little bit towards the interior of the island, having made my way along the north coast. And there is a little walk to a waterfall here. I will show a map of where it is located on the island. Some locals doing their laundry here in the stream. Looks like my shoes are gonna have to come off here as I need to cross the river. Some more locals doing their laundry. Okay, I managed to step on a few stones and just about make it across without removing my shoes there.
It's a beautiful walk here and I haven't seen anyone else. It's giving me a taste of my rainforest trekking, which I'm going to be doing in the next video. I'm heading back south, taking the ferry to Banda Acha and then an overnight bus back to Medan. And then after Medan, I'm going to be making the journey to Bukit Lawang, which is the village in the jungle, which is like the stop off point before you go deeper into Ganong Luza National Park, where you go trekking for multiple days and you can see the orangutans and many other exotic things associated with the rainforest, plants, birds, bugs. A little bit slippy. I crossed the stream and I had to get my feet wet and put my shoes under the water a few times. It's very slippy on the rocks. The rain is coming down. It really feels like a rainforest here. I'm sweating profusely. <laughs> That's part of it. Good training for the rainforest. Although I'm sure I won't have that many pathways like this to follow. The rain is really coming down now. I don't even know how much further it is to go. Climbing over all these slippy rocks. Everything in my bag is going to be drenched and the rocks are just so slippery. Okay, so finally I have made it to Prey Lock Waterfall. My shoes and the weather conditions didn't make it necessarily easy, but uh, I made it and that's the main thing. I found my way back to the tuk tuk, drenched wet. So I'm now here on Pantai Gapang. I've just had my lunch at a cafe at the front there, Mi Goreng, I am. This is one of the nice beaches on the sort of northern jagged coastline. We're going to continue this way as we head further west to another beach. So this is Ibo Beach, which is a popular spot for snorkeling and diving. And as you can see right now, <laughs> nothing is happening because it is Friday. I think I prefer the other beach. It was more picturesque than this one. This one's a little bit more crowded, more boats, more companies and people around. There is a island across the way there. The name of it I will leave here because on the top of my head, I cannot remember it. It also has some good snorkeling spots. It looks like a guy has just caught a massive fish over here. So I'm kind of interested to take a look. Yeah. <laughs> Liking this seating spot here. Looks like some kind of Achenese architecture or at least patterns or colors. Tons of boats here on this beach. 
but very quiet as it is the holy day, the day of prayer in Islam. Well, we all make mistakes while traveling and today's mistake for me is overlooking the fact it was a Friday and assuming that things would be normal. I thought on the island maybe it's more relaxed and things still are happening. No, you cannot even go in the water on either of those beaches apparently. Everything is shut down. However, this is a nice little trail I found coming off the beach. So I'm just looking for a nice spot maybe to grab a drink. And then we'll continue onwards to the Zero Kilometre Monument, which is a special point in Indonesia. I'll talk more about it once we're there. But anyway, I'm still enjoying this island vibe and going around at Chair Arabica Beans, this cool looking coffee place the origin of Arabic coffee in Aceh in the 17th century. The Dutch brought coffee through Batavia, which was Jakarta to Aceh. And now there are two types of coffee planted, Arabica and Robusta. First cultivated in 1908, grows in lowland in Western Aceh. Commonly the Achenese used to drink Robusta. On the other hand, the Dutch preferred Arabica to Robusta and exported it. And to add to that, this place has a good view. It's always cool to read about the history of the coffee when you visit somewhere and I like how this place seems like they really care about what they're doing. Wow, that is strong, but very tasty. Okay, so after heading from the beach further in a northwesterly direction, we are at the Zero Kilometre Monument, which marks the most western part of Indonesia, the end of the country, if you like, although I believe there is one more military base on a small island just ahead of here. A few locals here and I think I can go up the steps there to get a better view. Unfortunately the stairs are closed so I can't go up. I don't know if that's because it's a Friday or it's for another reason. Maybe you can let me know if you understood what that sign said. Found a little seating space here to get a better view. coconut, the perfect refreshment and the view. The Andaman Sea stretching out and the Indian Ocean somewhere to the left. The Andaman and Nicobar Islands somewhere that way. Sri Lanka and India over there. Good morning and welcome back. That is my room there at Casa Nemo Resort and Spa. This is the garden as we make our way down to the beach. It's literally a garden of Eden. Lots of colorful flowers and plants and the rooms scattered along 
the side of the cliff as we make our way down the steps. There is a restaurant upstairs where I had my dinner last night. They do good Italian food. I had a great fettuccine, a nice change from Indonesian food. The beach bar just there. And here we are, the east coast of the island. Here is the perfect sand and turquoise colored water, which changes depending on the sunlight. Of course, it's not the clearest day today. So on a sunny, clear day, then you get some very spectacular water here. Unfortunately, I have to leave and take the ferry back to Banda Acha and then an overnight bus to Medan tonight. And then after that, I make my way towards Bukit Lawang for orangutan trekking. The beach continues a bit this way. There are a few other resorts. Pineapples growing here. I'm not sure when the season is, but we can't be too far off. All right, so I will leave again the link for Casa Nemo in the video description. If you're interested in staying here, check them out. And I hope this gave you a nice taste of Pulau Ware. It's a shame I didn't manage to go snorkeling. There was a bit of confusion about what was going on on Fridays. <laughs> but if you come here, make sure you take advantage of that and perhaps go diving if you've been diving before. That's still something I want to learn. I haven't got around to taking like a diving course or something. Anyway, see you on the next video in the rainforest in Bukit Lawang.